ever sight of this.
disappointed here. I can't believe that. I haven't got any tickets left. Welcome to the arena. Tom does the entrance applications. Talk to him. I know. I came all the way from Oak Vale. <laughs> you come in to spectate or participate? Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the Guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. This way, please. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, Chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name, and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins your prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there. Use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. Um. Oh, your yeah. worships. Hello, I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. <laughs> wow! Ooh, the mighty ranger there. Wonderful! Hey. Ooh. Hey. Ha. Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. Give me some beer. Oh, 
wonderful. Oh, he's impressive. Oh, Ooh. yes. Oh, yes. I can't let you in. Chameleon is still getting butchered. I hope you're going to put up a better fight than he is. <laughs> Ross, bad news. I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man. You look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Wow. Right, I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Ah, oh, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh, buzz. Buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Ladies and gentlemen, for your entertainment, I give you Ranger. Famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twin Blade. Like our other brave challengers, this something coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round. An old arena favorite. like that earns 100 gold. The next round will be worth 500 gold. He may be new to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs. Three, two, one, go!
That's another 500 gold. 600 gold earned so far. And there's another 1,000 up for grabs in the next round. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team round. Two heroes, side by side, fighting together for their very survival. Minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valverines? Three, two, one.
nice round thousand gold reward. Wow! 1,600 in the bag. And there's another 2,000 on offer for the next round. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. The next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the undead. Three, two, one. That was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. They've earned 3,600 gold. But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. It's round five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block, let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Three, two, one. Yeah. 
Hold on. Three, two, one, go! If that wasn't enough, another 4,000 is available for the next round. Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, cops, balberines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha. Three, two, one, go. Wow, a total of 10,600 gold. Enough for a small house. Do they want another 8,000 gold? Things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winning? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Trolls, Stannis and Groin! Three, two, one, go!
another 8,000 gold. 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. Three, two, one, go. total of 28,600 gold. We have two winners. Incredible. So, what will happen? Two winners and only one prize? Well, as you know, we have a special guest here today. It's the one, the only, the hero of heroes, Jack of Blades! I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. This arena is all that is great in Albion, and you all that is worthy in it. I am honored to stand before you again. And I have a proposal to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this! I'm going to put on a good fight. But I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. 
and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. My dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other, and yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero, just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. In time, they married and had two children, a girl, and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion seal. 
People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Barriston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Hey you, Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. <laughs> yeah, Hi. well, I suppose he did all right. Yay! I don't know why I'd bother getting up in the mornings, my poor, sweet Amanda. How could illness take you from me? I'm sorry, did you say something? I don't know why I'd bother getting up in the mornings.
So, you finally met Jack of Blades. I met him long ago, of course, when he burned down our home and cut out my eyes. But he wasn't lying when he said he knew where Mother was. He's kept her in Bargate Prison ever since the night of the raid. I haven't been able to get inside, but the archaeologist knows of an ancient secret passage. You've met him already, haven't you? Jack's creatures are still after him, just like they're after me. I can't stay here much longer. I've left the details in a quest card at the guild. You have to get Mother out. She's the only one who knows how to reach the sword. You did read the book I sent, didn't you? The sword is everything, and it could turn the world to nothing. Oh, and Mother has a gift for you too. More power than you can imagine. Check the guild for more quests. Enjoy the rest of the day.
please help me. Thomas, my brother, is lost somewhere up ahead. Follow me. I think he's somewhere up here. He's deeper into the forest. I'm too scared. <laughs> Found him. Oh, thank ye, thank ye. Here, have this. You might make sense of it.
Lordship, we are blessed. Ooh, the mighty ranger oh. there. At your face with Yeah, you show him. Serene. Wish Serene I could have man. that sword. <laughs> Looks like it's stuck fast. All right. <laughs> Hugh the giant must have been a really powerful guy to get the sword stuck like that. Right. Yay! <laughs> Wish I could have that sword. Looks like it's stuck fast. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Hugh the giant must have been a really powerful guy to get the sword stuck like that. Yay! Yay! We've been trying to pull the sword from the stone, but we can't do it. Why don't you have a go? Woohoo! Hugh the Giant must have been a really powerful guy to get the sword stuck like that. Ha <laughs> oh. ha Good luck. Give it all you've got. Another loser. I bet that thunder could do it. Does he pass this way often? <laughs> I bet that Hugh was a tough character. Try again soon. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. Don't listen to what anybody else tells you. Halt! So you're the hero they sent, eh? Well, I've got a new job for you. These bloody villagers are holding our boss, and they plan to hang him. So I want you to take a message to their chief. You tell him we'll raise his precious town to the ground if he doesn't hand our boss back. Got that? Well, run along then. We haven't got all day. I'm not letting that bandit go. He's plundered this village for far too long. We've got him under guard up the hill by the tavern, and that's where he's staying. So you'll just have to go back out there and get rid of the scum's bandit friends. Talk to the guard over there when you're ready, and he'll open the gates for you. As for me, I'm off back to my hut. Good luck.
You're going to take them on all by yourself? You're a real hero, or a real fool. Well then, let's get started. Look, the gates are opening. Now's our chance to free the boss. Get those bandits before they free their leader. Nice work. Those bandits won't be back in a hurry. You have reached a very famous status. Wow. We have learned that Twinblade is seeking revenge for his humiliating defeat. He has hired a band of highly skilled assassins to kill you. Watch out for surprise attacks. Your prowess as an archer is impressive, hero. You should try your skill at the archery range near Knothole Glade. Welcome to the archery contest, hero. It'll cost you ten gold to have a go. Why not give it a try? You can win a prize. Special prizes are on offer for high scores. Game over. Let's see what score you got, and if you've won anything. 
A new high score. Well done, hero. Roll up, roll up. Archery competition now open. Test your skills. There is an Oh, hello there. Oh, yes. You're well known enough to come in. Stone North, hero. This is a quiet district and we like to keep it that way. We don't tolerate uncivil behaviour here, so mind you don't end up in our holding cell. We have a raving lunatic locked up right now, but he won't be seeing many more sunrises, if you know what I mean. Now, Lady Grey desires to speak with you. You'll find her grace in the gardens outside her mansion. This is a great honour, even for a hero, so mind your manners. Have you talked to the mayor yet? Hey there! You've come to the right place. Archaeologist has been imprisoned. Seems all right. Aren't you going to talk to me? So, you're the one everyone is talking about. I must say, you have me intrigued. Will you walk with me to the courtyard? I would so love to speak with you. lovely here, don't you think? But sometimes it feels like the loneliest place in the world. You see, I haven't married yet. Somehow I've never met a man worthy enough. I've always known that only someone who could conquer the arena could conquer me. Perhaps you could bring me a gift from town. I'm sure you can find something fitting for a lady. That's beautiful. I knew you'd have a romantic soul, not like some heroes. Of course, a woman in my position can't marry into poverty. The very least one can expect is that a man will have his own house. I'm so pleased to hear you have a house. 
I wouldn't want to think you wanted to marry for the money. Would you do something heroic for me now? A while ago, I lost a necklace. It is most precious to me. Perhaps you could investigate round town. Someone must know its whereabouts. to fight beside you. Protection by the Barrowstone Guards. What if someone finds it in that time? <laughs> no one will think of looking for it there. You'd better be right. Patience, it'll all be fine. Easy gold. What was that? Anyways, I've hit. sword to fight beside you. Have a nice day. Hey, it's you. You want a drink? Hooray! Would you be keen to get me a wedding? She's a legend. I'm glad you came. I wanted to talk to you before I go. You hadn't heard I'm leaving the guild. My brother wanted me to be a great hero, but... Well, you were always one step ahead of me. I had to work so hard to live up to his expectations. But you always made everything seem easy. It wasn't till you spared my life in the arena that I realized how jealous I was of you. And what a good friend you've been. I'm sorry I was so tough on you in training. The truth is, you've always been the better hero. Just don't tell my brother I said that. could use the help of a hero. Of course, I was hoping for someone like Thunder to come along, but I suppose you might be up to the task. We've been tracking a well-known assassin. We found out he's hiding out around Twinblade's tent in the Bandic. Of course, we'd never be able to get in, but it shouldn't be a problem for a resourceful hero such as yourself, huh? This is a matter of vengeance as much as of justice. That scumbag killed my brother. There's 1,000 gold waiting for you, if you do the job. Splendid. 
You're doing us and society a great service. You'll receive your payment after you've killed him. If you make it back alive. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. You haven't seen a group of guards around here, have you? Big, hairy fellows led by a real nasty piece of work. That bastard's been hunting me down for days. Can you believe it? My own brother wanted to kill me. I know we haven't always got on. I mean, he joined the bloody guards and I, well, I went a different way. But we're still brothers. We're not even that different. He's killed his fair share of people too, you know. I know what he's thinking. Mother's ill again, and he's never been able to convince her to write me out of her will. Besides, Who's going to question a guard who brings down an assassin? You haven't seen a guard around here, have you? Big man, stupid face. He's after my blood. Hey, put that weapon away, will you? I'm a bit jumpy at the moment. You could get yourself hurt. Can't be too careful these days. So he sent you, did he? I should have known that coward wouldn't have the guts to kill me himself. So, how much is he, um, you know, paying you? One thousand gold, huh? Hmm. Now what would you say if I doubled that, and you get rid of my brother instead? With him gone, the inheritance will be all mine. Yes. I tell you what, the 2,000 gold is yours now, if you accept. Marvellous. Well, I guess this is yours then. Pleasure doing business with you. I must say you've got guts. Take my gold and then try to kill me, huh? You should know better than to double-cross an assassin. <laughs>
You think he got him, boss? <laughs> Not a chance. My brother's been a dagger in my backside since we were kids. I won't be rid of him that easy. He were always my mother's favourite, too. Oh, I'm sure he's a very nice assassin, Toby. You could learn a lot from him, you could. <sighs> Still, it's not nice, is it? Wanting your brother dead. Who the hell asked you? I'd rip his throat out with my own hands if I had a chance. Filthy dog. Right, boss? He's brought nothing but disgrace in my family. I'll be damned if I'm letting him get an ounce of that inheritance. Well, well. Look who's come back alive. Excellent. That contract belonged to him all right. Our hunt is finally over. Right, here's your gold, then. And I suppose you've earned it. Have a pleasant visit, sir. There's talk going round that the lady's looking to marry. Wouldn't like to be in the poor fool's shoes, I can tell you. There's something not right about her. Did you know her sister disappeared? Without a trace, she was last seen at the Grey House. No one knows what happened. So you've heard about her sister too, huh? Eh? Seems that no one is quite sure of our mayor's history. Did you know she wears her sister's necklace all the time? Yay! The mayor really seems to like you, but don't think I'm not watching your every move. <laughs> you have yourself a nice day. You really are devoted to the lady, aren't you? Well, if she's looking for information, you should talk to some of the men around the town. Really, we have such gossips in Bowerstone North. You'd think they'd have better things to do. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel, would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her, I just know it. You have to help me prove it. Otherwise, Bowerstone will remain in her clutches and I'll be executed. Yes, finally. We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them, I've seen them, we've all seen them. Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in barrow fields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. Sentenced to death for speaking up! Call that justice! <laughs> I don't believe it! My necklace! I thought I'd never see it again. You continue to prove yourself a most deserving suitor. But you are not the only arena winner who seeks my hand. No doubt you have heard of Thunder. It's quite bewildering to have two such fine suitors. Now, if you could prove yourself a better man than he, perhaps in a battle, things would certainly seem clearer. I'll be waiting for the winner in the gardens. Best of luck.
said every day would be a little bit. Amanda. Yes, of course I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful, so pure. She was afraid her sister would find out about us and use it against her, stop her from becoming mayor. I'm no noble after all. So we'd meet in secret in the grey house cellar. I would sneak out to the stables and flash my lamp three times to let her know I was there. One night, she didn't come out, and I found the cellar door locked. Her sister, Elvira, Lady Grey as she's now known, told me she had died of some terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned, and I never even got to... I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about.
Roderick, is that you? I've waited for you so long and I... Wait, you're not Roderick. I prayed that he would rescue me, but he never came. When the air ran out, I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. Now I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened. So, now you know the truth. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You can still have me. Wouldn't you like to be mayor? Think of the power. It can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. A wise decision, my sweet. There's just one more thing you need to do before you can call me yours. Another hero seeks my hand in marriage. That pitiful fool, Thunder. He is nothing compared to you, my love. But if you could defeat him in a duel, we would be rid of him for good. You'll find him on the bridge by the jail outside Bowerstone. Then we can be together, and we can forget all this ever happened. So, you think you can beat me, farm boy? You think your victory in the arena makes you worthy? The lady is mine. Meet me at the executioner's block on the hill. I can think of no better place to kill you.
Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you.
You have come to your own execution. No farm boy is going to beat me. Not even a friend of Whispers. can. Can you see them? Are they still alive? You fight bravely, but Lady Grey is mine, and I won't give her up. <laughs> You think you can steal her heart just by killing me? The lady loves me! By defeating another hero in combat, will I open for you. Got that? I mean, how simple are you? Looks like this is where it ends. <laughs> I'm not best pleased with that mess. Still, fair dues. Nip on through.